So today we're going to be talking you through the master controller from Gavita. This particular unit is the EL1, but the basic concept is the same for all of the different versions. The menu system is actually really intuitive, but to make it crystal clear, we're going to talk you through the basics. Master controllers regulate the switching of Gavita lighting, while also unlocking a host of extra features, which we'll go through in a minute. With some additional equipment, you can even use a master controller to manage other items of grow room equipment. Now this is something we'll get, get into at a later date. So you've got the quick key on the left, use this to select your lighting output levels. Then you've got the up and down buttons with an enter button in the middle, which are pretty self-explanatory. They're used to search for and select options in the menu system. The final button is the back button. You can choose between lights on, lights off and automatic mode, where your lighting switches on and off according to your timer settings, which we'll go through in a second or two. You'll want to use the off mode when you're switching out equipment and changing lamps because it will ensure that your lights don't switch on unexpectedly. Press the arrow keys to locate output mode and press enter again. Use the arrow keys to switch between auto, on and off. Press enter to open the menu. Press the arrow keys to locate light cycle and press enter again. Then use the arrow keys to select the starting hour of the lights on period and press enter to confirm your choice. Do the same to select the minute, then repeat the process for your lights off time. So what we've just shown you will allow you to replicate a typical contact from timer setup. But using centralized control opens up a host of features that allow you to tweak things even further. We'll talk you through some of them now. You can set your lighting output rates from 50 to 110% for most fixtures and from 50 to 115% if you're running 1000 watts. Just press the quick key and press the arrow keys to choose your output setting and press enter to confirm your choice. Sunrise sunset mode eases your plants in and out of lighting periods gradually, mimicking natural sunlight. Anything you can do to get closer to a plant's natural environment is going to have a positive impact. Sunrise sunset mode is less stressful for your plants than using contactors and timers, and it even helps to reduce the likelihood of encountering uh, issues like powdery mildew and rot. Just press enter to open the menu, press the arrow keys to locate sunrise sunset and press enter again. You'll see the set ramp time screen, which tells you how long it will take for your lighting to fade in and out. Use the arrow keys to increase or decrease the ramp up and down time and then press enter. When temperatures get above a certain level, leaf stomata close up, photosynthesis slows down, decreasing overall growth rates. Master controllers allow you to automatically dim your lighting to keep the environment in range, which is really useful when it gets hotter outside. If you're running a closed loop system like an OptiClimate, Make sure you set your auto dimming above the settings for your room. You only want your lighting to dim as an absolute last resort. So press enter to open the menu and use the arrow keys to locate auto dim temp and press enter. Then use the arrow keys to increase or decrease the temperature and press enter again to confirm. You can set the master control to automatically shut down if room temperatures get dangerous. This gives you extra peace of mind while you're away from the grow area, reducing the risk of plant damage or even a potential fire. The default shutdown temperature is set to 35 degrees C, but do be warned after a shutdown, a manual reset will be required. To set the shutdown temp, just press enter to open the menu as usual. Press the arrow keys to locate shutdown temp and press enter again. Use the arrow keys to increase or decrease the temperature and press enter to confirm. So that was the master controller basics. If you need any more help or advice, just give us a call and pop in the store.